Hello folks, welcome back. And uh, now Gashagwa is really suffering. This of course came out during yesterday's interview. Gashagwa is expressing how Ruto is using state resources, old night meetings, and of course to intimidate him. Yeah. Of course, you know very well that right now the mountain is divided. This of course came after Gashagwa. Uh, was pushing for Mount Kenya unity, and this because this was a public rule because he knew the results. He knew that if Mount Kenya are united behind Gashagwa, it will be difficult to control Gashagwa or to do whatever he wants to do with the mountains. Now, um, of course, Gashagwa is expressing regrets after. Realize that Uru Kenyatta is the only person who can save him. And now he's really apologizing. If you look at the video, you realize that the Shagwa knows very well that what he did to Uru Kenyatta was unforgivable. Remember, during last year's Mandamano, um, there were some you know, animals, eh? sheep, that were stolen from Uru's thicker land. And of course, so many people said that Peshagwa was the man who orchestrated the whole thing. Of course, there's no evidence to prove that, but it came out that he was the person who planned and executed everything. Now, this, of course, if I told it was Peshagwa, then I think it, it won't be easy for the Kenyatta to forgive Peshagwa because Peshagwa went personal with the Kenyatta. And now he's really regretting and apologizing. Some say that his apology, you know, is not genuine because he just come at a time whereby Peshagwa is facing problems within his party. So the question is, should Uru Kenyatta forgive Peshagwa? Yes or no? Um, that will leave it to them. But you see, in politics, nothing's impossible. Even though Peshagwa went personal with Uru Kenyatta, yeah? Even calling his father a murderer. Yeah, there's a clip, but of course, uh, circulated during the 22 elections. Now, um, his removal from the WhatsApp group that the president formed and everything that came out yesterday, it means that Ruto is passionate about removing Gashago from the presidency. Yeah? And Gashago is very sure that he will not be picked in 2027 because he even appealed and cried to, to Ruto to just allow him to work the remaining three years. That means that he was ready to go or to form other political, for me, for other coalition. It knows very well that the war that is in, in, in government will only be able to, you know, to finish this war because he's got no people, no resources as compared to Ruto, the president. Now, this so this so basically was happening now in Kenya. And people are like, why is it happening early? Some people are happy, Gashagwa is suffering, some people are not happy. Yeah. Some say that Gashagwa used to run his mouth and huh? insult everyone. Now it's the payback time. Some people are not, are not happy, say that their son is being intimidated and coerced when Uto himself declared that his deputy will never be, will never suffer the way he suffered in Uru Kenyatta's hands. So tell me, do you think Gashagwa will survive this the remaining three years? Or do you think by next year he will be long gone? You tell me the comment section. Do you think he will survive? Or by next year he will be long gone? Tell me the end of the comment section.